Hi everyone, I'm Raksha and in this video I'll be doing my April bullet journal setup. Like a lot of other bullet journalers, it was really hard to think of a theme for this month with everything that's been going on in the world. I decided to go with a lotus flower theme. Lotus flowers grow in muddy water and rise out to become beautiful pink flowers. They represent strength and overcoming difficult times. For Buddhists and Hindus, they represent rising above gloom and reaching enlightenment. For all of these reasons, it felt like the perfect theme for this month. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button on this video. Click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I release a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram for daily journal inspiration too. So grab a cup of tea and join me and my journal. Here on this first page, I'm capturing a description of lotus that I came across online. Lotus flowers actually represent coming out of darker times and into the light, and that's what a lotus flower actually does in reality. At the moment, I think we're all just looking forward to better times, so I thought this was fitting. It was actually really therapeutic and calming to draw lotus flowers. Maybe it's because I know what they represent, or it could just be the repetitive drawing of petals and the calming pastel colours that make them quite soothing to draw and to look at. Now we have my cover page for April. I decided to draw a circle around a pencil pot and put a lotus flower inside of it because I thought that would just be a nice design for the cover page. On a side note, I'm drawing in front of a live audience today. I woke up extra early to try and do my filming and my journaling before the rest of the family wake up and my two-year-old daughter Ray decided to join me. So she's here at 5.30 a.m enjoying herself while I draw in my journal, asking to do her own. I'm using a Tombow Fudenosuke pen to write April, which I've linked down below. This is where I'm drafting my monthly log. I've decided to go for a double page spread for my monthly log this month. Even though I won't be going out because we can't leave the house, I'll use the space to plan my tasks, even things like when I plan to film certain videos, when I plan to edit them and publish them. I've started to make plans with friends and family to have a virtual glass of wine while we're stuck at home, so there will be some social plans that I can throw in there. The other night we had a virtual board game night with some family which was really fun. We like playing a game called Ticket to Ride and you can actually download the app and play it online against each other. So we all downloaded it on our iPads and played it. And we had a video chat up as well so we could talk to each other while playing. I decided to list some key habits on my monthly log just some habits that I want to focus on this month instead of having individual habit trackers. And this is the perfect thing about bullet journaling, you can change your setup whenever you want based on what suits you. Last month I found that I didn't really update my monthly habit trackers that much, not as much as I could have anyway. So this month I thought it'd be nice to just have a reminder of the key habits I want to focus on and you're always looking at your monthly log so you see those habits on the side and can remember that you want to, to do those things. Here's my simple things list, which I talked a bit about last month. These are all of the simple things you can enjoy, which are often related to the month or the season. For this month, I'll just be focusing on some nice, feel-good things that I can do from home. Yoga in the garden when the sun is out will be quite nice. 
Going for a walk without a purpose is on here as well. Without a purpose is the key message here, because that's when your mind truly benefits from the walk, when you're not focused on the destination and you're fully present and aware of your surroundings. Very similar to meditation. Thinking of something or even a few things that you're grateful for is a really nice thing to do. It really puts things into perspective and I've included a quote here that sums it up perfectly. Enjoy the little things in life for one day you may look back and realise they were the big things. I find that having a gratitude log really helps you think about and appreciate those smaller things. Since we're going to be at home, I wanted to do a detailed list of useful things I want to get done around the house, like packing away my daughter's cot or cleaning the kitchen cupboards. I'm also planning to include in here a category for the kids and things that we can do. I think it'll be useful to break it down into two categories, one for activities we can do with them, and then one for things that can be done alone for when I need to go and do something else. Without these lists, I think we'd just end up hovering around the house, probably getting bored and lethargic and driving each other insane. We've all been at home for around a week now and we've already fallen into a routine that works pretty well, so I wanted to capture that here. I've coloured in the times that the kids are asleep in a different colour and that's when I can focus on personal things or do things with my husband. I find it really helpful seeing the structure of the day laid out like this and I can easily add things or change things up to suit all of our needs. Looking at this list, I've just remembered I forgot to put yoga with the kids in, um, in the morning, which we like to do, so I'll add that in as well. Now we have my first weekly spread for April. I'm keeping it really simple and minimal. I've got the days of the week for my daily tasks. I have a section for weekly goals to remind me of the bigger things that I want to focus on. I like to also have a weekly habit checklist to tick off the things I try to get done every week, so I've included that here as well. Here's my final flip through of my April setup. Thanks for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a journaler, I hope it provided some inspiration for your own bullet journal. And if you're not, I hope you just found the video relaxing and maybe even feel inspired to pick up a pen, write a list, doodle, or even just sit and reflect. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, click on the bell icon, and I haven't seen many Lotus themes in bullet journals, so I'm really curious to hear what you think about this as a theme. So please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. See you in my next video.